All right, everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to our very first live streaming from, uh, you know, from United States and Philippines. Uh, hi, my name is Phyllis. Um, you know, welcome to the Phyllis Song Coaching Program channel. Uh, we have decided that every Friday at this time, 9 a.m. CST, we're going to go live for you. Today, you know, we're not going to worry about being perfect. We're just going to be here for being real because this is actually the first time uh, Monique and Mary is going live the first time, right? Is it right live the first time? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be fun. I have some practice already, so I'm not as fearful. And I always tell, you know, all my virtual mm -hmm. assistant, hey, you know, Zoom does not bike. If something goes wrong, you know, we're not going to come out and grab you. So, you know, don't be afraid. Don't feel anything bad about it. But anyway, let us introduce ourselves first, right? So again, my name is Phyllis, right? I run the company. I'm AKA the boss. They love to call me the boss. Uh, a lot of the VA that come through our program will call me the boss too. I say, no, no, I'm not the boss. I'm actually the coach. So, you know, that is me. I am uh, located in Dallas, Texas. I've been using virtual assistant for the past 10 years. Mm -hmm. These are my two partners here, technically. Um, you know, uh, Monique has been with me for nine years. Mary has been meet with me for three, right? Mary, is it three years or four? Three years? Three, awesome. running four. Yeah, and many more to come, many more to come. So uh, I'm going to, you know, let Monique introduce herself real quick, right? Monique, aka the nerd, she is the nerd, even though she doesn't look like a nerd at all. Monique? <laughs> Just hi guys. Good morning. My name is Monique. And uh, yeah, just like what Phyllis mentioned, I've been working for her for nine years. I know, right? Nine years. And yes, it is possible to hire someone and, and stay with them for, for that long. So I am uh, doing the training right now. So uh, if you guys will hire your VAs, they will be with us for the 30 days and um, we will guide them. And they're going to be with me you know, uh, a few days. <laughs> so, yes. All right. Then the next person is Mary, right? Mary is our, you know, I always love Mary because initially, you know, we are like, well, what is the nickname for Mary, right? And then Mary, the first one that she said is the spender because she spent my credit card. She pay all the bills, right? She buy all the stuff and she loves shopping just with my money, okay? And then we're like, okay, look at the number smart, right? And I was like, yeah, she's really good at numbers. The thing is, it's really hard for us to articulate that. And I was like, man, Mar Mary, you are a CPA, right? You are a licensed CPA. So we say, man, you must be well qualified to call, you know, the AKA, the accountant. So Mary, you want to introduce yourself? Because again, I love you being here because if not, I have no idea where my money's coming, where my money's going, and what do I do with all the numbers? Yes, yeah, so hi everyone. So good morning to all in the US and good evening to all in the Philippines. Okay, so yeah, my name is Mary. And as what Phyllis mentioned earlier, I am working for her for three years and counting. Okay, so yeah, I am the very expensive VA. I love spending the money that I do not own. <laughs> and yeah, anything that relates to finances, uh you can reach out to me. And right now, I'm currently in charge with the hiring process of the VAs. And yeah. Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, and uh, in this episode, what we wanted to really talk about is how, how did this whole thing come about, right? How did we get it started? So, you know, again, um, uh, once upon a time, right, um, I, have, I own a really big 4,000 office uh, square feet office space. I have local employees that are working with me. What I realized that I have to wake up, right? Put my makeup on, dress up, drive 45 minutes just to go to the office, show up and say, hey, everybody, I am here. So make sure you work really hard, right? And then afterwards, you know, after eight hours, do the same thing, 45 minutes driving home, right? And then, you know, remove the makeup, remove the clothes and then go to bed. And one day I was like, man, you know, I think there's more out there because ultimately the ultimate goal for my family is we want to travel the world. We want to kind of like having a nomad experience. And also, how can I just flip my computer up and I can start working? And uh, the biggest blessing that I have, right? Every time Tony Robbins say every problem, you know, is an opportunity, right? My problem at that moment is um, my right-hand person at that moment quit on me. And I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Well, but that is a great opportunity for me to start seeking out what else can I do, right? What is my dream world and how can I make that happen? And then we found out, about virtual assistant because I call, I call to the big company. I think at that moment I called two people, uh, Chase 
And also, um, I think Time Warner, you know, you know, for our, you know, uh, internet provider. And I realized they're all speaking uh, <laughs> non-locally, right? That's, you know, they're actually from Philippines. And I was like, well, if big company can do it, I can do it too. So then I start searching and that's how, you know, my, you know, my, my life with virtual assistant started. And then, you know, throughout the career, you know, throughout, you know, working with a lot of uh, virtual assistant, right? At the very beginning, man, a lot of retention, right? Because you don't know how to work with them. You don't know how to uh, integrate with them. You don't know what you don't know, right? And sometimes they just quit. Sometimes they don't show up because they have internet issue. And then, but, you know, and then again, afterwards, I'm very lucky. Then I got to, you know, Monique and then we started to create a really good systems, right? Um, and then, you know, now the rest is history. <coughs> And about a year or two ago, you know, everybody was asking me, hey, Phyllis, how do you have so much time? Do you work? I say, I do. They say, no, I don't think so, because you always go travel. I say, I know, <laughs> because that is my dream. That's my life, right? I really love it. Um, and then I was like, well, I'm using virtual assistant. What about you? They said, well, um, what do you mean by virtual assistant? I mean, I only work with people local. All right, fine. Let me teach you how, right? Because again, it's all just all my friends. So I started to teach people here and there, you know, how to do it, right? And then eventually uh, we joined Tony Robin, uh, Tony Robin Environment, and uh, Keith Ferrazzi, right? Keith Ferrazzi, a really amazing, uh, you know, speaker, a leader, you know, teaching us about leading without, uh, you know, authority, uh, talking about, hey, you know, we really need to use virtual assistant because uh, everybody can, you know, have more time, right, and make more money using virtual assistant. How can you leverage them? And that is when um, I started a a mastermind call with all the platinum membership of with Tony Robbins. And one of the member <coughs> reached out to me and say, hey, I think you need to start a business hiring virtual assistant. I say, no, no, no. I think everybody know how to hire virtual assistant. They said, no, actually, everybody does not know. <laughs> uh, and again, be because of, you know, him, you know, Mateen, right? Thanks, Mateen, if you're watching this, um, you know, the virtual assistant program started. And, you know, while I was thinking about doing it, you know, Monique actually was the one that is saying that, hey, I think it's a great idea for you to start the, you know, the service because people really don't know how, because, you know, I, again, I, a lot of time when I train my friend, I was like, hey, you know, Monique, why don't you help? Mary, why don't you help? Right. So then um, at the end, um, we were literally starting this business. Now it's like a full blown business. You know, we're helping people, guiding them through, you know, from the start all the way to finish. Right. Uh, so I in charge of obviously meeting with the client, talking to them. Right. What is their problem? What is their challenge and how can we close the gap? And then, you know, Moni, uh, Mary will come in and, uh, you know, and make sure that, you know, uh, the invoice is paid, right? And then the interview, you know, and then starting to conduct the interview, making sure that we are we're hiring the right people, screening them through. And then afterwards, Monique will be the one involved in the training, whether it's training on the realtor, training on the business, training on the system, and, you know, so that we can get them through every step of the way so that, you know, the VA is, um, you know, um, is very... Um, have more confidence, you know, more support so that they can be the super VA. Because what we talk about is hiring a VA is very easy. Literally, you just, you know, throw a rock, everybody, <laughs> you can find VA in virtual world. But the key is hiring a super virtual assistant is not that easy because not everybody know how to work into your caliber. Some clients say, oh, so Phyllis, you Americanize them? I think so. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, you know, do you think Mary and Monique is as Americanized now, right? You know, does they speak forward? You know, what, what do they think that is the difference? Um, again, I think enough of me saying all these things. I'm just trying to, you know, tell you about a little bit of our story. Uh, but Monique and Mary, you guys wanted to chime in, you know, how, you know, Close the gap, you know, what, where did I miss, you know, any other stories that you wanted to tell on how we get it started? Um, I think for me, um, I think before, actually it is before Tony Robbins that we've been already thinking about, um, you know, starting it. Right, Mary? I don't know. Um, I think it's just my hallucination, but yes. <laughs> before Tony Robbins, but we actually never started it. You know, it's it's um it's like ah uh, maybe uh yes we can yes we will do it, but um yeah I think it's just you know the, the Tony Robbins just it's because I think you've met a lot of people who who needed the the virtual assistant so. Yeah, absolutely right. Actually, you're right. Um, we started to serve more platinum membership with Tony yes. Robbins, but before mm -hmm. that, we were serving the real estate realtor uh, to help them hire virtual assistant. You're absolutely right. I told you, my virtual assistant, right, Monique and Mary, they're always right. I'm usually the wrong one, especially it come to hiring. 
I was like, oh man, you know, they're really good. Let's hire all of them. And, you know, as, and uh, this is what I found out. Okay. As soon as Mary and Monique say, nah, boss is not going to work out then usually it doesn't work out. So at the end, I don't even do the interview anymore because I just want to hire everyone, right? I mean, everybody have potential. And then Mary's like, mm -mm, not the right person. Or Monique is like, mm -mm, I don't like them. Fine, okay, we're not going to hire them anymore. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> what about you, Mary? You want to tell us a little bit about the story? I think both I agree on Mom Monique. And we are not sure yet before. I mean, as to the process, we cannot decide if we're going to become an agency, but we don't like it. So yeah, just just uh, sharing of ideas. And then, yeah, just one day we figured out and decided to, okay, let's get this started. So yes, and I think you, Mary, you want to tell us a little bit about and I think, um, you know, uh, Mary, Mary say it right, right? We are not an agency, we're a coaching company. I know that there's a lot of coaching company out there, but, you know, again, I think we're, ours is very unique because we're obviously coaching you on how to hire a virtual assistant, how to use streamline, how to use scale your business using virtual assistant. And again, we really, really enjoy that because um, I have a lot of friends that's using agency. And again, I think agency is amazing if that works for you. You know, as for me, I love to brag about, hey, my VA has been with me for nine years, three years. And we meet with each other in Singapore, right? You know, we go eat together. We all go attend Tony Robbins together. They see them crying, breaking down, you know, changing their life, right? It's so amazing. I just really love uh, the environment that, you know, we are actually a family. We really working together, you know, crying together, smiling together, having fun with each other uh you know it's like a family virtually but again we do see them live okay once in a while once in a while not all the time especially right now we have COVID um and and again that is just a special feeling and I think that you know if I open up agency ultimately I do make a lot more money FYI I do make a lot of money if I want I choose to go with agency style but the key is you you as a client or a VA will not be able to get the feeling that I get with Monique or Mary, because, you know, we really have a unique bond with each other. Sometimes we'll chit chat on Zoom for hours, you know, talking about boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, family, <laughs> right? And sometimes we just literally, you know, um, two feet in and trying to figure out, you know, what is going on with the program. And again, you know, our program right now is so amazing that uh, why am I saying that it's amazing? Because we have a lot of word of mouth, you know, uh, the business is literally just running based on a word of mouth for our done for you program. Uh, it, and again, if you do not have a word, you know, referral, I most likely might not work with you. You might have to do our done with you or, uh, you know, uh, or our DIY program, right? Because again, you know, we usually serve you in a very high level. Um, why do I say this? I can't remember why I saying that. Can you guys because of the agency I mentioned. Oh, yes, the agency style model. Yes. Okay, I just I just also want to add, you know, um if 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 they if they will be hiring uh, if if a client will hire an agency, you know, the, the agency can teach them skill sets. But uh what is unique about us is we also teach them we also teach the VAs um about mind setting, the right mind setting. So I think that is, you know, uh, the attitude. Uh, you can actually, you can actually uh, teach that. I'm uh, sorry, the the skill set. It's easy to teach. You know, it's easy to show someone how to do it. But you know, the mindset, the right mindset, the right attitude towards work. I think that is totally different. Yes, I totally agree. I think, um, you know, what makes us really different is, you know, again, a lot of the agency really mm -hmm. focusing on skill set, you know, like literally skill set, you know, okay, you know, you need to learn how to do MLS, you need to do how to do contract, you need to do how to do social media. And I think, and, and the biggest challenge that everybody have is my VA doesn't last. You know, I, you know, we have to fire them, right? And then I was like, well, what makes me different? Because, you know, you guys have been with me for such a long time and I usually do not have people who quit on me, right? And I realized that it was the mindset because again, whenever I learn something, they learn something. Whenever I'm strong with my mindset, I always share with them and thus their mindset is very strong. So then the next question is, how can I bridge the gap? How can I close the gap between where, you know, the VA is and where the business owner is and integrate with them so that they can have the same experience, same life as I do. And that's again, that is where the coaching program started, right? 
And uh, Mary, you want to tell us why? Why do we start this? You know, what makes you excited about this program? What we do? Mary's I a little shy. That's why if she doesn't <laughs> have a lot, it's just because of that. I think it's special. Maybe because, yeah, I agree on Mom Monique, boss. We teach, uh, I mean, we coach them as to the mindset, which is very rare. Because, yeah, not all will invest who will invest on the mindset of the of the VAs, of course. Yeah, skill set, very easy. And what else? <laughs> maybe what makes what makes us unique to boss is yeah, we have a lot of we have a community here already. So we have a lot of VAs. So all of the VAs help each other actually. So if they have any questions, they can just share it or ask it in the community and yeah. Many are very willing to, to share or to give tips and what they do. So I think that's what makes us unique. Boss. But of course, the VAs are working for you, for the client, of course. It's just that they have us. They have the com community as a support. So, yes. Yes. I love it. I love it. And also the number one thing that a lot of people also ask is, hey, you know, um, how much do we usually pay them, right? And are we exploiting them? Uh, I wanted to, you know, use this, uh, you know, use this chance to also <clears throat> tell you that, you know, $5 an hour, you know, on average, you know, we're hiring a virtual assistant for about five bucks an hour, $5 an hour for in, you know, in Philippines is a pretty high pay. Uh, so we're not exploiting them. And most of them that we hire are college graduates. So, um, you know, because, because of the currency, you know, because of the country, right? So we will be able to use that uh, to, you know, to kind of substitute, subsidize, I wanted to say. Um, and uh, on average, I do believe that it will be about 25 bucks an hour if we hire somebody local here. You know, so $5 an hour in Philippines is about $25 in United States. Well, but Monique and Mary, can you guys kind of tell us so that they know that, you know, I am not lying to them. You know, this is really true. Maybe boss for me on the early rate, I think it really depends on where the VA is located. That's my, I mean, that's that's just my thought, boss. If, because yeah, here in the Philippines, right, we are we have three <laughs> islands. So, the Mindanao, Visayas, and Luzon. And, and I think if the VAs are in Mindanao and Luzon, because the cost of living boss really varies here, especially here in my, in my area. If you compared it with Mamonique's area. It's really different, boss, as to the cost of living. So I think, but of course, in general, $5 is actually, is, is good already. It's a good pay and high for us. And we don't need to spend any transportation. Transportation. <laughs> transportation, of course. And the unnecessary, uh, unnecessary expense if, if you are outside. So, yeah. Yes. You're safe from home because you don't have to go to work, especially at this, uh, you know, with, with all this pandemic, you know, happening right now. We're definitely safe, <laughs> right? Don't have to go to the office. Yes, don't have to travel. And boss, I just wanted to share, I mean, during the pandemic that started, I mean, we really feel it. Like, me personally, boss, how, how lucky, how lucky I am that I am working uh, in the comfort of, of my home, of course, because of course I have friends working in local here, so like the companies here, and then they were they were in skeletal, right? Was skeletal skeletal working day, so of course their salary will be reduced, all those mm -hmm. stuff, and here here we are. I mean, still as uh, still still working on a daily basis, and I. I do. I mean, as to the salary and the livelihood, we really were not affected. Especially if the client is, of course, your boss is not affected by the, by the pandemic. And yeah, I just feel so lucky <laughs> during. I mean, during this pandemic, because of course. A lot of people yes. lost their jobs, actually, not just, you know, have, uh, cutting the time off. I think a lot of people lost their jobs, especially here in the Philippines, especially in Metro Manila and you know, even call centers. Um, even even on the interviews, when you ask them, uh, why did you leave your previous company? It is always it's because, you know, I want to stay home. It's because. Uh, it is not safe um, outside right now. So we're just very lucky that we're working from home. 
And yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I totally agree with you on that. And, uh, you know, ultimately, you know, I wanted to, you know, uh, you know, give a wrap too, right? So ultimately, the reason why we really started this thing, you know, and our ultimate goal is to help 10,000 virtual assistants get a job, right? Working from home, make good money, and be able to raise their children. Because ultimately, another story that I have is I, I was being raised by a Filipino mom, multiple of them, actually. My mother is a, a domestic helper, uh, you know, run a domestic helper employment agency in Singapore. And what we found is in order for a Filipino to make good money, they actually have to go to a cruise ship, right? Go work at Dubai, go work in Singapore, you know, and the contract usually is about a year, two years, sometimes five years. So they could not see their family, could not, you know, raise their children. But that is the only way that they can make good money. So that's why I think this is such an amazing program that we really wanted to reach out to help as many business owners to hire their virtual assistant so that the virtual assistant can live the life that they really wanted to live, right? And uh, on top of that, you know, as a business owner like me, right, I used to freak out because, again, I have so much thing I need to get done. And, you know, and I, I'm still a wife, right? I'm still a mother. I'm still an in-law that I get to take care of everything else. But I'm an overachiever. So it's like, man, I got this. I got that. I got this. I got that. Oh, my good. What am I going to do? But the good news is with hiring virtual assistant, you know, the cost is good. They are still living a very good life. You know, it's not like I'm exploiting them, but I can get so much more done. Like, you know, literally, like I, we talk about HubSpot, right, Airtable uh, with our business. And uh, I told Monique, hey, Monique, the nerd, right? <laughs> hey, we need a CRM. I don't know how to do it. I mean, there's too many uh, com company right now. And uh, there's so many things that we need to do. I'm going crazy. And then Monique's like, okay, boss, I'm going to go look into it. Maybe HubSpot, maybe Salesforce, maybe whatever. And then she come back. Oh, yeah, I think we should use HubSpot because of the price, because of the services. And then next thing you know is, oh, boss, I already set everything up. You know, we have the deal flow. We have the invoices. We sync it up, integrating it with Stripe accounts, you know. And then we hire another VA who manage my emails, making sure that the email is matching up with HubSpot. Right. And now, you know, uh, we obviously have Mary. Mary initially was the, I was like, hey, Mary, can you come in to do some interviews together with me? And then later on, I was like, Mary, can you do the interview with me? Hey, Mary, you got so good right now. So can you just do the interview? <laughs> and uh, so right now, Mary is doing most of the interviews and we're starting to hire more because, you know, the business is scaling a lot because everybody wants virtual assistant. Right. Um, so. So now, you know, Mary is hiring more people and one of Mary's, uh, you know, assistant, Marit. She all of a sudden got so good at Airtable because we're starting to managing all our applicants through Airtable because too many of them, right? Thousands of them were going crazy with it. And Maris Mary is like, I, I got you, man. I got you, Phyllis. I got you. So now it's like, oh my goodness, this is so amazing because everything that I want to do, I just have to say it. What is the outcome? And magician, the VA is magician. I think this is a great quote cards, right? Agatha, if you're watching this, you know, virtual assistant equals to the magician because I say, hey, I need CRM. Bam, CRM is done, right? I need uh, uh, to do interview. Bam, interviews are done, right? So this is the reason why we really, really love this because ultimately, as business owners, we have so much thing we wanted to do, but we don't have the time to get it done. We virtual assistant, right? If it's five bucks an hour, you can hire three for fifteen dollars, right? You can hire five for twenty five bucks. I mean, it's such so much more affordable than hiring a local person, and better yet, they can focus on what they are good at and not getting stressed out on. Because a lot of time when we're hiring a local people, you know, if they're 25 bucks an hour, we technically want somebody that can be a Monique and Mary combined, right? And then we want them to do a lot of things because it's $25, you can, can you see? 25, 25, 25, 25. You're like, what are you doing? Don't eat, don't drink, you gotta work, <laughs> am I right? But with virtual assistants, like, okay, it's a lot more chill, right? Okay, take your time, get it done, you know, make sure that it's accurate. So that way everything's gonna go well. Yes, there is obviously a ramp up period, right? You have to get to know them. You got to make sure that they're comfortable. You need to understand them because again, we're from different country, but so, so it is with local employees, right? But ultimately they are so loyal to me. I love them to death, right? Mary yesterday worked extra hours. Monique worked 13 hours every single day, Monday to Saturday, right? They're just very loyal. It's not like, oh, five o'clock it's done. I'm clocking out, I'm done. I don't care whether there's any more job or not. They make sure that all the urgency tasks are done before they log out. And, uh, you know, our Mary, aka the accountant, she's also, you know, um, OCD, right? There's time that I sleep very good and she doesn't. She's like, oh man, boss, I'm so stressed. I think that there's a lot of things that did not get done. 
So, you know, so that's why I cannot sleep good. I was like, okay, okay, we'll hire you more people. But how amazing it is that your virtual assistant is worried about your company well-being and then cannot sleep when the owner is sleeping so good. <laughs> Am I right? So again, this is why I really, really love virtual assistant. And I know that combined with it, it's a win, win, a win, right? Because the business owner like me wins because I gain so much more time, so much more energy, so much more money too, right? Because, you know, they are doing everything for me, right? As a virtual assistant they managed to make good really good money still working from home right manage to raise their children and just like what mary said we don't even have to have makeup because you know zoom is giving you makeups right so uh and you don't have to even have to change right and you can just open up the computer and just start working COVID is the big biggest blessing with virtual assistants right because they don't have to worry about the delta strand they don't have to worry about anything flip up the computer you can work right and it's a win for us Right. As a as a coaching company, I know that, you know, we help you, you know, um, change your life. I change a lot of, you know, virtual assistant life. We change a lot of business owners life. And so now everybody could be just like us living a really good life, making good money and smile and be happy every single day. This is the reason why we really started this program. And we really very honored and happy that we are starting to make this a bigger skills because, you know, the more people that know about us, the better it is. And I love, love, love seeing all the VA who smile and say, hey, Phyllis, I finally found your, your job ad because I really wanted to work in the community. <laughs> so we finally found a job ad. So I apply for it and I don't do anything else but wait for you to call me. How amazing is that, isn't it? And we only hire good people, by the way. And our, our stream, uh, you know, uh, what is that word called? Um, Screening boss. Screening process. <laughs> the screening process is very tough. I mean, we get them to do a lot of work, not like everybody else. So again, if you are a VA and you want to have an amazing community to work, you know, reach out to us. I know you need to do a lot of work, but you know, do what other people don't do to get what other people don't have. Okay. Again, what do what other people don't do, get what other people don't have. Okay. But Mary and Monique, what do you think about the first episode? What else do you wanted to add into it that I did not say? So that we can finish it out. I think you said it all. <laughs> <laughs> Too much, is it? <laughs> but yeah, I, I just I just wanna uh, repeat what you said. You know, it is actually a win-win for for everyone. You know, for us, um, we are also um, you know hiring quality VAs for the clients and. Um, for the VAs also, we make sure that our clients are also <laughs> quality like them. <laughs> good ones, the good ones also. You know, they're actually they're actually um VAs that are you know complaining because you know the client hasn't paid them for like two months, three months. And you know, for the VA, we can assure you we will follow up for you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I and I just want to add boss. <laughs> I use a this sound here, guys. Because I keep, I keep that uh, during the interview, boss. I keep hearing all those things, like yeah. for for the VAs, like the clients ask them to work for a month, for three months, and then the client just ghosted them, <laughs> and yeah, nice. suddenly the client blocked them all in social media. So you are safe with us, okay? Yes, yeah. <laughs> we, we have good VA, so it's a win win win. <laughs> yes, yes, and I get, actually, I just saw Emily and was saying that you know she did the same, she has so many job offer, but she just waited to hear from us. So, thank you, Emily. And I mean, that is amazing. And again, if you are a virtual assistant, the community here is love unconditionally. We literally have changed a lot of virtual assistant life. You know, go through our channel and see a lot of the testimonials that you can see, right? We literally are really trying to do this because again, Monique and Mary have given me a lot, okay? Monique and Mary have given me a lot. That's why we wanted to give it to everybody else, the rest of the virtual assistant. So if you are thinking that you're living a really good life, it's all because Monique and Mary, if you're in the community, because without them, I wouldn't have created this community because it's too much work for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and at the same time, you know, if you're a client, wouldn't you want to have a virtual assistant who is so amazing, who have positive outcome, positive mindset, really strong to work for you. So in the way they really do care about you, you know, again, Monique and Mary, if I'm not here, right, I can literally one day, I always think about this. If one day I passed away suddenly, I know that they will immediately pick up my, the business and run it and still take care of my family at the same time because they know actually more about me than my family. You know, where the email is, where the password is, where the bank account information is, they all know all that, okay? And if you say, man, 
can you trust your virtual assistant? I think so because they have my social security number, they have my credit cards, they have my bank account. They actually even know more about how much money I have in my bank account more than I do. <laughs> so again, um, this is my experience and I wanted to create the same experience for you and your virtual assistants on the way together. You know, it's a happy family. And that is our goal to create many, many multi multiple amazing family where you and your VA work really, really well with each other. And that is our ultimate goal. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Really appreciate that. I, I think this is a great episode. Somebody was asking, you know, when are we going to be doing this? It's going to be every Friday at 9 a.m. CST. We're going to make it kind of like a, I don't know, like a radio show, a TV show. I don't know what that would be, but we're just going to chit chat, right? Whatever that, you know, uh, if something come up, we're going to let you know, right? If we run into an interview challenge, we're going to let you know. If you are running into a, you know, a client challenge, we're going to let you know. Once in a while, we're also going to be inviting other virtual assistants to, um, to give you some aha moment, to teach you some stuff. Uh, so, you know, again, as, if you are a client, you can see what are the, you know, the quality of the virtual system, what we are talking about, right? If you are a VA, you know, watch us so in the way we can teach you more about what you don't know. Because again, we really embrace of, we don't know what we don't know. A lot of time, we just really don't know, right? Hey boss, I don't know this is what you want me to do. I don't know that you need me, you need me to give you a call. I don't know that you want me to get this test done. As a business owner, a lot of time is, I don't know how to talk to them. I don't know whether I should be direct with them. I don't know whether I, you know, will I hurt their feelings, right? How do I find them? How can you find so many amazing people and I can't, right? So again, whether or not you're using our program, you know, our heart goes out to you. We just really wanted to help you, help both of you, you know, to know how to communicate with the client, know how to communicate with uh, your VA. So in the way together, again, just like what Monique said, it's a win, win, and a win. All right. Yay. All right, so have a wonderful weekend, Monique, Mary. We were supposed to run this for 15 minutes, but yeah, it's been 30 minutes. 30 plus. minutes, yes. yes but, uh, thank you so much. We'll see you again on Friday, next Friday, and you have a great weekend. Yeah, see you on Friday.